Hi guys, welcome back to Always Sometimes Monsters. We're playing as our little evil bastard chick here. Forgot what her name is. Chris, I think it is. Beep, beep, beep. It's the, it's the uh, dawning of a new day. And uh, let's see what we're going to do today. Message from the witch. Where the hell are you? Dark F sick. That's right. We got a message yesterday saying that uh, Dark F was sick, but uh, it was past visiting hours. So let's go check that out. Uh, if you'll remember earlier in the game with, with this chick here, we decided to give Dark F uh, Dark F some marijuana, because that sounded like a great idea for somebody who's supposed to be our friend. Not only that, but we uh, we, we made him pay for it as well. Uh, we didn't just give it to him. Uh, but you know, that's, uh, that's water under the bridge now, because... Uh, <laughs> yeah, right, because now he's sick, and uh, so in the original series that I'm hoping that you're watching first, we have found out that it was Viper who got sick. So this is a, this is actually a really big difference from... Where am I going? Where's the hospital? I don't know where the hospital is. Where's the hospital? <clears throat> this is a huge difference from um, the decision I made, there it is, with my primary character, Glory. And I wonder if it's going to go the same way. I wonder if it's going to go the same way where we have to do... Ah! Where we have to do the same things as before. Um, no, I don't want to buy any of that stuff. I don't want to buy any of your crap. I don't want to buy any of your laxative soda. Uh, 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 uh. Okay. I wonder how Viper's gonna feel towards us now. Chris! I don't know what to do. Dark F, he... Oh god, he... What? What the fuck happened? After the show, we saw each other. It was perfect again. He said he loved me again and that he was sorry he ever left. Said it didn't matter what it cost him. He needed me in his life. For better or for worse. That we couldn't be apart because there was nothing more important than being together. Our bond was the only thing keeping either of us from sinking. I fucking knew this would happen! Why the hell did I listen to you? Let me guess. You two checked into some dive motel and spent the last few days shooting up. What the fuck is wrong with me? Exactly. I didn't force him to do shit. He had a goddamn choice and he chose me. And this happened, you daft piece of shit. Yeah, he loves you, but this shit will kill him. Maybe it already has. If he can't keep you away from if if he can't keep away from you, then why can't you just help him get better? Because I'm a fucking addict too. We're opposite ends of a seesaw, and if one doesn't go down, then the other can never go up. Today he pays, and tomorrow I will, because that's the way it goes. There's no balancing this shit. We just take turns feeling sorry for the other. Look, let's put our shit aside. I want to see him. Oh man! That's sad. So, who's paying for all this? I know you don't have any money, so I don't know how you can afford to stay here. The label's helping out a lot, probably because they're worried the story will get leaked if he's not taken care of. However, since you can't do the rest of the tour, though, they've kind of closed the coin purse. It wouldn't be a problem if this fucking doctor had a heart, though. Okay, so this is pretty familiar. What are you talking about? The doctor guy- the doctor guy looking after Dark F. He's like an expert, but he's a greedy motherfucker. All this guy does is, like, walk into the room twice a day, tap on his clipboard a few times, and we have to pay a fortune for the privilege. I swear, I saw him cuss out an old lady because her dead husband's pension couldn't cover her medicine. He's a total fuckface. <laughs> nice. Have you ever talked to the guy? Maybe he's not as heartless as you think. Ask him to do some work, pro boner. <laughs> yes, so classy, Viper. Pro bono? Yeah, why not? The least she can do is ask. I'm sure he'd listen, at least. Come on, he'll take one look at me and tell me to fuck right off. He makes his living off people like me. Maybe you could go though. Give him a hand. Give him a hand. 
give him a that was my phone disregard give him a handy to change his mind I don't know what that means I don't know about that but I guess I could talk to him sometime where would I find him this guy does the same shit every day every morning he gets a coffee at the Krusty Kreme he ducks out early every afternoon every afternoon to go see a movie at the sunny megaplex and after hours he's probably at the Empire pub congratulating himself I wrote it all down for you take this Viper gave you a list of locations I'll be hanging around here pretty much all the time go talk to him and let me know what he says okay well there's no harm in trying All right, so now we need to go talk to this guy again, which I I think was going to pretty much go exactly the same way, so I'm not going to bother recording it. Okay, I changed my mind. I did actually want to record this because I walked up to him and he goes, who are you? And I say, your worst nightmare, motherfucker. And this guy goes, before you do anything stupid, I'll remind you, we're in a public place and I'm a kind old doctor and you're street crap. Just tell me what you want. Do you want money? Just gonna kick your ass. Nah, I'm just gonna kick your ass. Unless you take care of my friend. For free, that is. Let me guess. That pathetic wannabe Cobain wasting a bed someone else could use because he can't be an artist without a needle in his arm. You'd think such a would-be talent with all that money for drugs could pay for his own hospital bills. If you're here to ask me for, to help her... For free? No, I won't do it. I already told your big black friend that barely five minutes ago. Do you guys rove in packs? Well, fuck you, buddy. Guess that Hippocratic Oath is just bullshit anyway. I only have limited time to help people. I don't have time to judge people. And money is a marker of one's ability to function in better society. I don't have time to judge people? Well, you certainly seem to find time. Your friend, despite the glorious dumpster grunge appearance, doesn't have any. You elitist bastard. Please, save me the Ivy League social justice bullshit. Your parents did it much better. Now, if you don't mind, I've got another two hours before my next patient meeting. <clears throat> Besides all that, I didn't come to own the old Hofstetter mansion working for free. Well, that didn't go as planned. I better go speak with Viper at the hospital. Okay, you guys, I bet you all know where this is leading. All right, back to Viper. We, re we reported how our encounter with um, Dr. Berenstein went. And uh, this is what she says. Uh, we gotta smash up his car. Of course. Wait, what? There. Break his headlights and send a message. What? A guy like that's got to have some pretty fancy cars. We could go to his place, break into the garage, and smash the fuck out of his windshield. Well, he did mention something about the old Hofstetter mansion just outside town. A guy with that kind of money's bound to have a nice ride. If I remember correctly, mansion don't mansions have heavy security? The hell are you thinking? Well, maybe we could just find something to blackmail him with up there. I bet he's into some really weird porn. You have no idea. If it's a side that might actually work, then it's settled. Whenever you're ready to go, just let me know and I'll drive us out there. Meanwhile, or ten minutes later at Hofstead Mansion. <clears throat> uh, why the hell are you wearing that thing again? Oh, dang it. Uh, again? Why? Have we worn this before? I'm confused. It's so people can't tell who I am. Whatever. Look, his car's right over there. Let's go smash it up. We could take a look around for a computer or something first. Just be careful, I'm sure this place is loaded with security cameras. Wait here, I'll go pick the front door lock. In the meantime... Oh, I can't save. Can I not save here? I want to save. Yay, let's save! Alright, let's do this thing. You all know it's coming because... We are not only a bastard, we are not only evil. We are... The epitome of evil bastard. And apparently stupid as well, because... For... I just want to dump his teddy bear, like, 
I don't know. It, it, let's put it under the hood of his car. That way, next time he starts it up, it gets caught in the belt and it just destroys it. It eviscerates the teddy bear. <laughs> I'm sure he would die. All right. This is stupid. This is the dumbest thing ever. This is not going to end well. Yeah, smash the shit out of that car with that golf club. Hmm. <laughs> this is so stupid. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Not yet. Wait, wait, wait. I want to get this. Huzzah! Okay. There we go. <laughs> this is so stupid. I don't know why I'm doing this. Oh, God. Oh, God. But I'm so curious. I'm so curious. It's smashing time. Bang. Bang. Shit! I think we tripped an alarm. We're not leaving until that thing's fucking destroyed! Press up and down the s- ah, Beat it! Beat it! Beat it! Go, 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 go! We're on a time limit! Da 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 Beat, 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 beat! Ah, smash, 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 Perfect! Shit, that thing's wrecked! How much do you think it was worth? I don't know, probably at least 50 grand. You took the doctor's hood ornament. <laughs> Can I smash it more? Can I still go inside now? I wonder. I wonder about that. I smashed the doctor's car good. I need to talk to Viper and get the hell out of here. Viper! 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 I smashed the fucker's car and took his prized hood ornament. Sweet. Let's get the hell out of here then. You were such a badass on that car. You smashed it good. I'm not just a pretty face, you know. Well, it sends a message for sure. A message that we're idiots and that we're going to go to jail. He'll be scared shitless. I doubt it. I'll beep you when we're ready to go confront him. Gotcha. Let's not wait too long, though. Dark us getting worse. Sorry for giving you so much shit, Chris. You're a really good friend. And I still hate you. Yay, it's dark time. Dark time? Dark time. Night time. It's... Shh. It's okay. Did I already check this? A double, triple, quadruple check. I want all the figures. All the figures belong to me. <clears throat> I think it's too late to do anything now. Oh, you know what? Ah, crap. I meant to, I meant to do the, that's okay, we can do that tomorrow. I'll finish the section. Let's go to bed. <laughs>